Welcome to Drama Land, where the rides are sketchy and the popcorn's free. All it costs is $5 per ticket and you can have yourself a fun time. Okay, no, seriously though, Twitter, Twitter's drama. There's drama everywhere on Twitter. Twitter is just full of all that drama. No matter where you go, you're going to find drama. And if you're not a part of the drama, the popcorn is always great. It's no surprise here, politics, drama always in politics. There's drama all the time in politics. Uh, we have a very special dramatic situation in the Twitter universe, the Twitter world. We've got a bunch of politics, a bunch of drama, and today we have Jonathan Herzog and his opponent, Lindsay. Okay, look, I'm just going to say this. If you're running for office, Twitter should be the least of your worries, okay? You're running for a position in Congress. You're running to unseat a person who has been in that office for well over 20 years, and for some reason, you're worried about Twitter. You're worried about people on Twitter, followers. You're worried about people that probably shouldn't matter to you. Well, look, that's an issue. That's a flaw. If, you, if you're worried about people on Twitter, then you messed up big time because we're going to use that flaw to our advantage. If you think that uh, we're something to be worried about, we weren't at first. We never were. I mean, you're sitting here worried about us, complaining that we're an issue, scared of us, but we never were an issue. But I mean, now that you think we're an issue and you brought your attention and you've blocked us and, you know, seem panicked, I mean, now we're an issue. We weren't an issue before. We never cared about you. But now it seems like you made it an issue and now we're going to respond in a way that is effective, you know, a way that that really shows that we're now invested into this this situation. The drama, I mean, it's just stupid drama. I mean, it's all what Twitter always is, dumb drama that doesn't have a meaning. But for her, this particular situation, we have a woman running for Congress against my man, Jonathan. And for whatever reason, thinks, you know what, let's just go and join in on this thread. I mean, of course, she was tagged in the thread, and, and she has a right to respond. I'm not saying she doesn't, but she decides, let's go into this thread and start blocking people. So she goes and goes and goes, blocking people at every corner, and decides, you know what? I don't like this Johnny guy or his staff. Why don't I block him too? You know, so she goes and she blocks Jonathan. She blocks his staff. That's kind of petty. That's kind of uh, childish. And then also on top of that, she's pretty much worried, sick, like scared even at the fact that he might possibly be endorsed by the man himself, Andrew Yang. Now, that's just something that I would never have expected from a candidate running for office. And quite frankly, if you're running for office and this is how you're acting on Twitter, blocking people left and right and being uh, afraid of an endorsement, then you, you probably shouldn't be running at all because that's definitely not politician material. So I'm just going to say that this is the drama. I don't know what the, what's going to happen. But if you're afraid, if you're worried about tweets and whatnot, I mean, you shouldn't be running. Because let me tell you something. Twitter's the least of your concerns. I wouldn't get caught up in it. But I mean, hey, your campaign, do what you want. As of recording this video, I have yet to be blocked. She blocks everyone that shows support for Jonathan. Anyone that disagrees with her, anyone that isn't uh, supporting her, who's against her, she blocks. Uh, she blocks her opponent. I've never heard of that. I've heard of Trump blocking people on Twitter, but I've never heard of an opponent blocking another opponent for, for office on Twitter. And I've never seen someone besides Trump be so worried and so concerned about Twitter. Like if you're running, like I said, you're running against someone who's been uh, in office for 20 some years and you're focusing on Twitter and the people that are commenting about Jonathan. I don't know what to say. It's 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 incredible that, that you can be this childish and that you really have a problem with people. Like if you really have a problem with people, blocking them is not the way to go because you think you were uh, doing something good for yourself. You think that you were blocking the people that you thought were going to be a problem, but turns out we weren't a problem at all. We never were a problem. I, don't, I can guarantee you that none of us cared from the start. No one cared about what you had to say. No one cared about what you were doing because, again, we were supporting Jonathan. And you thought, oh, these are my enemies. Well, we weren't enemies at first, but guess what? Now you made us enemies. Good luck with that. Good luck with your whole thing. I hope it works out for you. You know what? I don't have, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Look, if you, if you want to go around blocking people that don't support you, then I, 
enjoy kitty land because that's probably about the only place you're going to be allowed to go from here on out because what you're doing is just immature i mean you're going to block people because they don't agree with you and because they don't support you like get over yourself i mean seriously and if you think blocking people is the right way to go well then you'll be sure come time for election we'll be supporting jonathan We'll be supporting Jonathan. We'll be making sure that other people support Jonathan. And if somehow you make it out of that race alive, which I doubt you're going to do, then you better believe the Yang Gang is going to make sure that at every opportunity they get, they'll make sure to tell people not to vote for you. They'll tell people and show people what you've done on Twitter and the way you've acted towards other people. Because what you're doing is basically what Trump's doing. Blocking people when he's not supposed to attacking people because he doesn't agree with them going paranoid on twitter for no reason i mean if you just want to act like this don't expect us to come to help you when somehow you win this this primary because i'm going to tell you right now you don't mess with the yang gang we don't like to be negative we don't like to be angry at people but for some reason you decide to do this and you know what you're going to get is no support from us we're not coming to help you we're not coming to give you support if somehow you end up winning the race which isn't gonna happen we're nice people we're great people we are smart uh we are respectful people but when you come at us like this and you block people and you harass people because they don't support you and you you get paranoid over an endorsement and you get defensive then we won't support you and we will make sure that people know who you really are like i said we're not we're not negative people we're not evil people but we will make sure something is done and we will make sure that people realize who you really are and they know what you're really like because you pretty much signed off your whole career by doing this your little petty blocks and your little petty responses and your paranoia and all that crap it's not going to help you from here on out you just marked yourself and it's going to come back to bite you in the butt so good luck with your campaign good luck with uh you know fighting against the twitter people because apparently to you that's more important than the people of, of New York. So this is just another chapter of the Twitter drama book. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. This is Dark Knight signing off.